Oh, there he is. There's Kaz. Hello. And this is his little studio. He's at home studio. How are you going there, Kaz? Very well, thank you. Oh, that uh, package there. I was basically a grocery, um, grocery boy. Fitness has all, had always been my passion. Yeah. So I've always been into training and exercising and running and doing weights and whatnot. So I thought, why don't I make a career out of my passion? Yeah. Instead of instead of wasting my life and doing something that I didn't enjoy. Yeah. And um, it just wasn't enough for the family in terms of supporting financial years of the program was very um, motivating for me to it was it was great to be in there yeah. and learning learning things in the program yeah. was just taught in such a brilliant way that I couldn't have done it otherwise. Started started training people uh, back to back yeah. in the first in the first two weeks. Wait. I had about sixty sessions a week. Sixty sessions a week, folks. Just going sessions. up and, and talking, and to, talking people. to people. Yep, definitely. Yeah, we're there to make them feel good. And, Enjoy the, enjoy the journey. Yeah. So how long did it take you to get up to 60 sessions a week? 60 plus sessions a week? Uh, a month. A month. One, one month. So 60 sessions, how many clients would you have? I would have 40, 40 clients. 40 clients, and yeah. some of those would double up at two sessions yeah. a week. So you were pack and save, grocery boy, not going anywhere, couldn't get enough money, went to Jets, built up a business, uh, and I'll talk about the transition from Jets to here, but now you have your home studio, you bought a house, you have, you married, and you have some new additions to the family. Yep, we have two kids. Um, how much a session would you, would you charge? I would normally charge fifty. Fifty dollars a session? Okay, you can do your numbers on that. Fifty dollars times sixty, we're looking at you know two to three thousand dollars a week. Oh, yeah. a little bit more than the packing side. Just a little bit. I always wanted something on my own, mm. and for me to be able to do it from the comfort of my own place, where people would come to me, it just made things that much easier with having two kids and being the only driver in the family. Yeah. Tell me about the uh, game from where you were to buy this house based on creating fitness. Well, I couldn't do it when I was at Pack and Save. Um, yeah. I on, maybe I was on 25 grand a year, you know, working at Pack and Save. That didn't give me any way. Um, so, it was basically took a year for me to save up the deposit of the sum from your personal training. From my personal training, and then basically just um, came to find this thing. Showed my numbers, and uh, they, were, they were pretty happy with it. From your personal training. From my personal training. This yes. says here's the line for the house. Yeah, simple as that. You bought your house based on doing something that you love. Yep, definitely. I wouldn't do anything else. To be honest with you, you know, yeah. this is this is my passion. Yeah. And my family is uh, my family is even into it as well. My wife is in here every day training. Wow. Um, when the kids are asleep, um, my parents are also into training now. Yeah. And my brothers as well. So I've not only helped me financially, but I've also phys uh, met physically and mentally helped the family as well. Isn't that rewarding? Yeah, definitely. It's not just yeah. a, a job which is separate from your family. Mm -hmm. It's actually a, a career that engages the family and adds value to their life. That's it. Well, they get that one-on-one -on -one focus training in yeah. here, and you can do every like I've got everything now, and you can do everything in here. Mm. So, if people are going to the gym to see a trainer at the gym, they have to pay that, and the money is a big thing, and people have to pay that extra the membership for the membership fee, yeah. and on top of that, pay for a personal trainer. Whereas when they come here, they get exactly. Well, they get more yeah. for less. In 12 months time, I'd like to expand this, this garage that way. Oh, you want a bigger, bigger gym? Bigger gym. Of course. Yeah. 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 And I would like to have a couple of trainers that can bring their clients in here and train them as well. Okay, have some trainers working with you. Yeah. If you're not happy where you are, you've got to move and um, follow do something that you're passionate about. And I always ask them, what's your passion? And whenever they tell me, I say, well, why aren't you doing it? <laughs> So it was just taking the first step, basically, and leaving where I was, and um, just trusting, trusting the journey. Just gotta follow your, follow your heart and uh, follow your passion. See what you're really into, and um, make it make it work for yourself and for your family. Um, do what you do what you love, and you'll always love what you do. That, that's my last piece of advice. So just just be passionate about what you're doing, and if it's not, then just move. On.